Hello everyone and welcome to what seems to be one of the most bizarre developments in a missing persons case in recent memory. I want to give a shout out to this reddit user, whose name I don't want to butcher, but have put on the screen here, who brought this story to my attention with their post on the Unsolved Mysteries subreddit. I'll link their post along with a few articles in the video description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's get into the story of Vasily Gorgos. Vasily Gorgos, a 63-year-old cattle seller from Romania, vanished into thin air 30 years ago. Due to the nature of his profession, the man who lived in the countryside often went on business trips to various cities in Romania to sell his cattle, but every time he would get back home in a matter of days. In 1991, Mr. Gorgos decided it's time for another business trip. He bought himself a train ticket, as usual, and told his wife and kids he'll be back in a few days. That was the last time his family ever saw him. The family reported his disappearance to police, but nothing ever came out of it. So they eventually assumed the man had meant foul play and had been having memorial services for him for the past 15 years. Fast forward to August 2021. On a Sunday evening, a car stops in front of Gorgos' family house and drops off Vasily, who is now aged 93. Unfortunately, the few neighbors who witnessed the scene were too shocked, and they can't remember the car's plate number or how the driver looked. Anyway, it needs to be pointed out that Mr. Gorgos was the only person who got out of the car. The driver never set a foot out of the vehicle. Strangely enough, the man had on him the same clothes he was wearing the day he vanished, and in his pockets, the family found not only his ID card, but also the train ticket he had bought 30 years ago. Everybody who knew him had noticed that Mr. Gorgos was looking pretty great. He was clean, well kept, and in good health, which means that in all these years, he was very well taken care of. The only issues he's having seem to be neurological in nature. More precisely, Mr. Gorgos somewhat remembers his family, but is clueless about his whereabouts in the last 30 years. When asked by reporters and family where he had been all these years, he replied, I was home. So without a doubt, a very unusual case. I've seen some people theorize that he may have been in prison, hence why he was wearing the same clothes and had the same exact ticket on his person, but there doesn't appear to be any record of his incarceration. Another theory is that he left on purpose and started a new family. Then when his neurological deterioration got worse, his new family decided to just pawn him off on the old one. Some supporting evidence in my opinion is that people with dementia often have decent long-term memory, but terrible short-term memory. Meaning it would make some sense if he had vague memories of his old family, but almost none of the new one he had spent the last 30 years with. However, I still think this is highly unlikely. He had the ticket he had purchased and the same exact clothes on as the day he went missing, and no one, not a single person, has come forward that he has had contact with in the last 30 years. So where do you think Vasily has been for the last 30 years? Do you think he simply vanished into thin air? Or is there a more logical explanation? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.